Eggs are something that we all love and enjoy and today I am going to show you a wonderful chettinad egg curry. So let's get started and check out the recipe. For the chettinad egg curry, to make the masala I am going to roast all the ingredients. For this take a pan, add 1 teaspoon of oil. To this add a piece of cinnamon, star anise, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of fennel seeds, 4 cloves, 1 teaspoon of peppercorns, 2 cardamom, 2 teaspoons coriander seeds, 5 red chilies, roast all the ingredients till you get a nice aroma. So I'm getting a nice aroma. Now I'm going to add a few cloves of garlic, a piece of ginger sliced, quarter cup grated coconut. Roast the ingredients for about 1 minute after adding the coconut. Once it turns to a nice light golden colour, turn off the stove and cool the ingredients. So the ingredients have cooled down, transfer it to a mixer jar and grind it to a nice fine paste. First I am going to grind without adding any water. Add a little water while grinding. The masala is ground to a nice fine paste. Keep this aside. To a pan, add 1 teaspoon of oil, add quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, half teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon chilli powder. Just mix it in along with the oil. Keep the flame on low. I am going to make a few slits on the boiled egg. You don't have to make very deep cuts. You gently place the egg onto the pan. Do the same to all the eggs. So you can see I've just gently rolled the eggs into the masala. I've not used the spatula, so the eggs have beautifully coated with the spice powder. Just keep it for a few minutes. Take a kadai, add 3 tablespoons of gingerly oil. Next add 3 medium sized onions finely chopped. To this add a few curry leaves, mix well, saute the onions till they are a nice golden brown colour. To this I am going to add 3 large tomatoes finely chopped. Next I am going to add 1.5 teaspoons of rock salt. Now, if you don't have rock salt, you can use the regular table salt. Cook till the tomatoes become nice and mushy. Once the tomatoes are nice and mushy, add the ground masala paste. And let it cook for about 5 minutes. Next add 2 cups of water. And let it boil on medium flame for about 5 minutes. So the raw smell is gone. Add the roasted eggs. Close and cook for about 5 minutes on medium flame. The egg curry is done, serve it hot. So there you go, here is this delicious chetinad egg curry. This is best had with nice hot steaming rice. Now the spice level, you can adjust it according to your taste. So do try this curry and enjoy it. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 frames.